marriage? How was how were you guys? How was your relationship? Yeah. Um, it affects marriage in, in so, so many ways. Um, but then in terms of, I would like to say I'm very blessed to have the husband that I have. Why? Because instead of um, drifting us apart, it brought us together. Love we would that. cry together. We would, uh, we would cry together. We would pray together. We would try and make it better for each other. You know, like when I would see him sad, I would try and make him feel better about it. You know, when he would see me sad, um, we did so many things together. You know, like we... It, it brought us closer. Um, but then What kind of things did you guys uh -huh. do to stay afloat? Well, we would definitely go on dates. Well, it was just the two of us, really, because at some point it felt like... You two understood yeah, the exactly. of what was happening. Yes. So it, was, it felt like it was much better just being the two of us. Um, but then we have very supportive and amazing friends and family, and yeah. I would love to thank all of them. I can't even mention, mention them by name, but... They were there and they were supportive, but then for the two of us, we had time together, like so much time together. He even, my husband is a busy, busy man, mm. but then like in that moment, he even took time just to be with me and just to spend time together, just to like say it out. Like if I was feeling whatever emotion, I could rush to him at any given point in time and tell him and that. he would comfort me or we would break down together or we would pray together. Like... That really helped. Um, in terms of our marriage, nothing bad. But then, um, sadly, I would like to talk about other women as well. Because from, excuse me, from sharing my story, I've had other women sharing the experiences with me. Other women have lost their husbands. Other women have had um, their in-laws have. Um, Forcing, not even forcing, demonize them yes, to the point where they separate. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's or why. Or they I'm bring in other women yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. My in laws, absolutely nothing. They were like supportive. They, were heaven, they are definitely heaven sent, you know, and in, in everything. So, in terms of that, well, you have one or two weird people asking silly questions or asking so are you guys gonna get somebody else to get like <laughs> child like relax girl yeah mm -hmm. i think why i'm asking is it's so easy for uh, for the woman to feel like i carried the baby i'm mm -hmm. going i went through this mm -hmm. and then sort of feel like the husband doesn't understand you you never went through that or like you have you heard of women that go through that i think that's the common yes i've heard of so many women have gone through that but then with with me and my husband like he was there the All whole the time like, like from the moment that we went to the hospital to the moment like he didn't miss a thing like that. he was there so he knew the magnitude and he was extremely present so I, I would be lying if I was to say, like, I felt alone or anything. Obviously, from time to time, I'd feel like, what did I do wrong? I should have, I should have, I should have stopped going to work at 30 weeks. I should have done this. Mm -hmm. I should have done this. There's, there's always that self-guilt, right? But then um, with him, he, he, guys, may God bless my husband. So yeah. what, um, for husbands that are watching this mm -hmm. and their wives have gone through something like this, mm -hmm. what can they do to be there for their wives? like be there you know men feel sometimes men think being there means you are there and i'm here and i'm on my phone no that's not being there like take her to places she wants to go take her to the spa and be there as well like talk to her don't just be in the same house and not conversing or like we are in the same house and you're already fixing the lights and stuff no like be there for your wives be there I don't know how, I think my husband would answer this question. Okay. Least, like, but yeah, <laughs> he was literally there for me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, what has healing looked like for you? Healing is... I don't think you can ever get to a point where you're 100% healed. Exactly, yeah, what yeah, did yeah. healing look like in that season? Um, I don't know. I, I don't, honestly, I don't know how to answer that. Healing okay. is just getting to a point where you're like, you know what? This is what's hap this has this has happened. I'm living with it, I guess, and I'm not going to put my life on hold. Um, not in a bad way, but then like in the sense that 
we are moving. Me and my husband, we have goals. Me and my husband, we want to see the world. We are definitely going to do that. We want our marriage to be a marriage that glorifies God. So we're not going to... We are going to be sad, but then we're not going to be sad forever. We are going to soldier this on and we're going to apply the, the word of God. I think that's what healing looked like for mm-hmm. me. And being able to like go to other people with their babies and love their babies and be what there for that their babies. Like? That was difficult. Um, my, my, my sisters, I think two of my sisters, two of my very close sisters had their children and I was so happy, I was so ecstatic. I would be like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my but then like, you know, like at the back of my mind, I'm like, oh my God, like Nadine could have like these two little brothers already. Like we never had to do stuff with them like, I'd be like, oh my God, like I could have been doing this for my child. And I really struggled to get them anything. Um, not because I didn't love them. I loved them so, so much. But then I just couldn't get into any baby shop. Like I just couldn't, um. you know. So yeah, but then healing also meant going to babysit those kids, loving on those kids and just being, it's, it's, it's very different. Even up till now, if someone was to ask me like, feels like the wound is still very fresh so like i feel like healing is a process and i'm still in it so yeah mm-hmm. um sorry to take you back mm-hmm. for women who don't know what happens to a baby when they what what do they do with the baby they cremate okay yeah exactly they cremate the baby um because i guess you're not allowed to to bury the baby according to culture okay yeah exactly so they cremate the baby okay mm-hmm. Um, your relationship with God during this season, did you ever cast God? Did you ever be mad at God? No did you ever way. ask God why? I did ask God why, but then I guess I was like in my job season, you know, like, I'm okay. like yeah, you guys can do what you're doing, but I know God is good. Okay. So yeah, like, I love that. yeah, I think my relationship with God actually got way, way, way better in that season. I love that. Um, because he's, the, he's pretty much the only person that mm. understood, yep. that could heal yeah. us, yeah. that could, yeah. for me not to be crazy yeah. and running in the streets, I need right? God. It, it's God. Yeah. For me to be here right now, yeah. it's God. So in that moment, I realized, you know what, um, we were very intentional with our relationship with God and he was so intentional with us. Oh, have wow. you ever felt just like this is the love of God? And have you ever just seen like, okay, no, this, this isn't me and my husband. This is God. So yeah, our relationship with God just got a Because I think the enemy better. has a way of making you feel like you are the only one going through something like yeah, that. True. Or there's something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Or God has abandoned me yeah. or something like that. And I remember when God spoke to me about this series, Mm -hmm. he was like, it's supposed to bring healing. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to bring, you know, encouragement to women to say, no, don't let the enemy tell you that you're the only one. Yes. What was that season like for you? Even just your relationship with yourself. What was the voice you spoke to yourself with? What, What would it say to you? Um, okay, so what helped me was hearing from other women. The moment I shared yes. on, on Instagram, right, so many women came to exactly. me and they were telling me. Exactly, it's the power so, of sharing. you know, like, when you're reading somebody else's story, you're like, oh my God, thank you God for my story. Like, it's bad, but... There's Thank a lot you, going God. On like, there. and then you get to realize I'm not alone because sometimes, like, you know, like the devil is a roaring lion seeking to find He's people that are like yeah. by themselves. So isolation. if you're like, if you're in isolation and you're thinking, oh my God, why me, right? And I'm all alone. I realized I wasn't alone, and I realized there were women that were telling me this happened to me four or five times. Now I have five kids. Now I have three kids. I. Ha- I have people that were telling me this happened for 10 years in for the first 10 years in and I was like this is like how many months into my marriage and we're experiencing <laughs> this you know and I'm like oh wow you know yeah. so I was very grateful to God and I and I got to realize that I'm not alone and God is in the business is in the miracle working business because I heard so many stories that encouraged my faith so I'm like definitely very soon I'll be holding my baby and one thing I also realized um so the word of, um, not that we grew up in church, but then I've had a personal relationship with God. Yeah. 
I remember there's a statement or there's something our pastor used to say. He used to say, um, the harder it is, the better it is for your testimony. Like, the worse the situation is, the better it will definitely be for your testimony. Mm. Um, so I was like, you know what? This is a horrible story, but I can't wait for my testifying season. Like, in everything that was happening, I was like, the moment I get to testify, the devil and all his demons mm -hmm. and all these people, like... You know, like, I'm, I'm ready for that. Like, I was looking forward. For, and um, one of my favorite stories um, in the Bible is Joseph's story. Like, when he was going through all of that, like, he didn't even know that his end was so great. Yeah. And, I've, I, and I would always be like, God, if I'm in the prison or if I'm in the pit right now, mm. I can't wait to be to in be my prime minister stage of life. So, yeah, that's, that's so how, how it... So how long after that did... Um, Minana then come. Okay, so it was very interesting. A lot of ups and downs, you know. Okay. Like after that, I'm like, yes, I don't want to hear anything about children. I don't want to have children. This is going to be me and my husband and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, no, now I want children. <laughs> Did it happen? No, it didn't happen. You couldn't conceive. Exactly. I couldn't okay. conceive and I was going crazy because I kept checking, am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Then when I would realize I'm not pregnant, I would cry hysterically mm. until I realized I'm not doing this anymore. And then, um, most people don't know, but then we also had another miscarriage in no. the way, and that was crazy. No. I don't want to get into that no. or else we will cry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh -huh. how, how far into the pregnancy did you have? It was, uh, was it not like eight weeks, oh I guess, exactly. So, like, I had just recently found out that I'm pregnant. I was so excited. And then, um, it happened on a Sunday. I was scared on a Sunday. So I realized when I went to church, I was like, mm, 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 mm. You found out in the morning and then you went like, to church. No, I, I, I didn't find, like, I just, I just, so you I was felt. like, I felt like mm, something was wrong. But then when I went to church, I was like, God, hopeful. God, <laughs> make a plan. And then um, it got worse and it got worse. And then that was it. Like, I, nah, mm -mm. they're not getting into that one. Yeah, okay, exactly. no, it's okay. But then, on to the good news, on to the testifying okay. part. <laughs> um, then Let's get to the testifying yes, part. Yes, please, yes, yes please. Um, we, and then, um, I just, not really getting over it. I was just like, God, I'm surrendering this to you. The moment I keep trying to tr keep track, am I pregnant now, am I not pregnant now, I'm going crazy and I'm losing my mind and everything. So I'm just surrendering everything to you. And then, so... I didn't even, when I got pregnant first time, I didn't even realize I was pregnant again. <laughs> so yeah, and then my husband is like, you're pregnant. I'm like, mm -mm, no. Um, so, okay, a, ba a little backstory. Like I have, I, I have more than 20, if not 25 or more than that, um, tests that are all negative, right? And I've kept them. Oh, wow. And then so like, cause I'd continuously test like, God, you now I'm ready no for the baby, and then like how healing this is gonna be exactly, for a lot of women, right? right? And, and then so no I have, I, I think I, I took a picture no and shared, um, yeah, I shared all the negatives and then one little positive. Aww. So then my husband is like, is one little yes, positive. hey. <laughs> so then my husband is like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're pregnant. I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant. I actually got so emotional with him. I was like, I'm still without interests, you know exactly. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then so we went for a journey, and then my feet were swelling. I'm like, ah, my feet are swelling. Hey, like, <laughs> that's okay. That's normal. Then one day he was like, please, please. He literally begged me. And then so, you know, when you're so used to like a negative. <laughs> so when you test, right, the, the negative line apparently you is the one that shows up that, first, yeah, right? So then I just saw a kind of negative. Guy, guy. Then I caught up and I was like, no, it's negative. And then I threw it into the box of the the many negatives you know oh, and then okay. i sorted it on with my life i didn't even cry at that moment right then i and then like a week later i was like no you my friend I'm you pregnant. are pregnant and i'm like i'm not then he's like let's test and then we tested right and then so I, I i didn't want him in there then i tested and then i said it was positive i was so excited i was like so so happy i was so chuffed but then you know also i really wanted to record his reaction but then i was so excited <laughs> Then I went and I was like, guess what? Uh, then he's like, ah, it's negative. I'm like, no, no, it's positive. <laughs> like, look, I was so excited. I was so, so excited. Yay. It was so amazing. 
then like all the times like even when we had our other miscarriage we just prayed we prayed we prayed we prayed then as soon as we got that we're so excited and then we prayed and then we're like okay so this is what we're going to do we're not telling anybody not because we we're scared could see anything but then we were just tired we had gotten to a point where we were tired of hurting ourselves and our family members like we'll tell them oh yeah we're expecting and then no there's no kid anymore you know that type of thing so just like you know what let's wait this one out then we went to an amazing doctor um we used um dr mshanga okay. um um he has his own place it's melbourne uh, maternity hospital it's so amazing it's like the best so then those guys when we got there i i you know like you want to express you want to tell the doctor what's really happening so you know like our first visit i was like my guy so this is what has been happening you know like this that this that like i had to outline everything like i told him the nitty gritties of everything that we had been going through and then do not like because he's a doctor and he's a gynecologist and he's been well he has he's the one who has the only ivf um place here in zimbabwe really? hey exactly so he's dealt with so many of these cases exactly and then he's like ah guys don't don't worry you know this time it's going to happen i'm like you don't understand <laughs> like <laughs> he had faith for us already and i'm like but then no no no, no. you don't understand like we have to like you know, it is like Brenda, like it's going what, to be what fine. What was your m- emotional and mental state during those nine months? Were I you was not crazy? Okay, <laughs> like at every was, stage, you're like I was literally growing, going crazy. Mm. I was obviously I had faith, but I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> like I was scared. Like I was even like the day you were supposed to then give birth. Yeah, what was that like? That that what was, was crazy. Like that was crazy like when i got into the hospital i just felt like my back is painful like everything is not working like okay during the nine months hey dr mplanga is a very patient guy may god bless him and so you know like i was coughing throughout my pregnancy i'm like oh my god i'm gonna cough this baby out so with any cough or with anything that went hysterical even a serious headache or anything we would go (laughs) <laughs> we would go and he, would take you. and he said yeah he even said like he's like if anything even the smallest of things come so we would go and then he'd be like no you are fine the baby is fine and everything and i'd go back home happy and i'll be like you know this is okay this is great so then the day when i felt like mm, this back pain mm, no this i just felt like i was in so much pain and then I went, and then, like, the staff there is so amazing. They, they even now knew me by name, hey, because... Because I'm wearing there, because if I cough, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, yeah there. I'm there, you know, exactly. So then they welcomed me. They were so excited. They're like, we are having this baby. And, you know, like, they're so... It's like a family setup type of thing. So, like, more, and then, the, like, you know how they get, like, your information, and they're like, ah, ah. We are praying that this is oh, going to happen. Exactly. So they were like that. so amazing. Because for me, I uh-huh. um, changed Ghanese yeah. in, in my second trimester. Yeah. And in the first trimester, I felt really ill. And I tried to get a hold of my gynecologist. Yeah. And you know, I was just like, you know what? It's my first pregnancy. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's normal and what's not normal. I need someone not to spoon feed me, but to yeah. at least just hold my hand, Definitely. reassure me, listen Definitely. to me. You know, I think I was about to get think after Ghana two days, oh, no, and then he was he's like, like, oh, the worst is over. You can move on now. Wow. That was the message, yeah. and I was like to my husband, no, let's look for someone else. That, that was a good. One. And you need someone who's gonna hold your hand, especially after what you've been through, or if it's your first pregnancy. And that's why I'm always saying choosing a good gynecologist is very important it's, it's it's very very important like um with my first one so when i got into hospital the first day you know gynecologists are like on their feet yes. you know like this is a matter of life and death yes. had he come at that moment something could have happened i feel like they could have resuscitated my baby or yeah. something but then he was like i'll come tomorrow did he not come tomorrow in the afternoon no. not even in the morning or whatever so i just felt like Gynecologists are very important because for me, when I started contractions, yeah. my gynae, I went into hospital, yeah. my gynae was there like within the hour. Wow. 
Wow. Within 30 minutes. Yeah. And you need someone you you like that. Need. Yeah, you do. you do. Exactly. So when I got there, like, um, Doc was there. He was performing a C-section. So after that, he came in. He's like, oh, you are here. We are having this baby. Uh, he he reaffirmed. Like and then he's like, but then Brenda, she... You just came in hardcore, but you haven't even started contracting <laughs> it. Like, I was at zero centimeters. Nice. But then I'm like, mm, me, I'm not going back home. And then uh, it's, and, but then I didn't even say it to him. He's like, but then I won't let you go back home because I know your mind won't be settled. So you will stay here until the baby comes because you're already in labor. I'm like, okay, that's good. That's exciting. And then so then the contraction started. Oh my God, that was crazy. Yeah. Extremely, extremely, extremely crazy. But, but then, then, guess what? what? Minana was was it? taking her time, uh-huh. making uh-huh. everybody anxious. Yeah, <laughs> I was in labor for like three days. How amazing is that? Imagine, imagine. So like everyone was now, everyone now had the mentality, what if something is wrong? So my mom was so hysterical to such an extent that she got Dr. Mplanga's number and asked him, she's like, oh, can you please perform a C-section? What matters is life? I want my daughter and my granddaughter to be alive. And then he, he was so amazing. Like, you know, he could have just ignored my mom. But then, because, you know, she was also being extra, but then she was being a mom, right? And then he's like, don't worry, mama. Everything is under control and everything That's and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot. It was amazing. Yeah. And as soon as Minana came out, he's the one. As soon as he was done, he messaged my mom. He's like, you are now in grandmother. Congratulations. Like, that guy is just amazing. Like, <laughs> I, I'm sure he was just he was just doing his job. But then to us, like, to me, to me, that was everything. That was everything. Yeah. Like, if I would if I would give out awards like mm. Dr. Mklanga, yeah. Melbourne Maternity, you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, exactly. So, it was really amazing. And then, like, she took her time. So, I was getting anxious. The dad was anxious. Like, But then, like, they constantly check on the baby's heartbeat. So, like, now because I knew that the heartbeat is very important, every time they'll check and would hear it, her vitals were okay, mine were okay. And then we got into that moment when I was now giving birth. I literally prayed the whole time. You know, like people will be screaming and stuff. I was screaming in prayer. Like, I would be like, Heavenly Father. Like, my husband is like, like you know, some of the nurses, like, if they were like, Yeah, we know what's been happening. But then, like, you know, at times, until they join in, like, <laughs> Heavenly Father, like, make this happen. You know, one in prayer, yes, in an was. atmosphere of she prayer. Was, That's hey. beautiful. I mean, as soon as she came out, the Aww. first thing was, she had, she had the, she had the loudest cry. Aww. And then I was like, oh my God, crying. she's crying. Aww. And then Dr. Mslange was like, yes, she's crying. She's alive. Aww. Like, <laughs> that was amazing. That was, oh my God. Oh, that was amazing. And my husband was so happy. And then we were, oh, that, oh, I'm relieving it now. Oh. <laughs> now it's tears of joy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. Um, So that was. (laughs) That's why we named her Minana. Yeah, because she's indeed a miracle. Yeah, because even in the process, hey, like you know, like I like I was telling you, like there's so many people that have so many theories, and so. We had one person telling us that if we don't attend their church, <laughs> we would never hold a baby. And I'm like, eh, let's watch God. Go First of all, church. why would anyone say that to you? Crazy. People are crazy. Why okay. would anyone say that to People you? Are crazy. People think you should send that, that person corner. a picture <laughs> and say, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to say, to say cause was it was mad. every day. <laughs> <laughs> how, so, long, how long after was that? How long after um, Nadine was? Minana born. Um, well, Nadine was, that was 2021. Minana was born um, in 2023. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that was, that's also a testimony in itself because I know of people that have gone for five years, yeah. 10 years, 20 years, yeah. or even more, hey, yeah. without. Um, so, yeah, hey, that was really, really great. And we gave her names that we felt um, really signify her life and god's presence in her life or in our lives through her every day i see her i'm like this is a testimony this is a miracle so i guess my faith has 
my faith has grown why because even if i'm even if i have faith for like i'm like god i need this money or god i need this or god i i just look at her and i'm like yes god can definitely do it her minana so like when people like they're like oh my god you guys couldn't live for an english name I'm like we gave her three yeah. names guys but then like oh. minana is befitting oh. because she is indeed a she's miracle a yeah she, she is she definitely is and she's showing so that now yeah anyway. no way mm-hmm. okay, exactly so Ooh, she's, Brenda. she is like god she is she is Allah. i don't think people know you had miscarriages no hey so the second pregnancy how far along were you um the first one was eight weeks yeah the first miscarriage was eight weeks. yes the second one I, I do, the second one I was actually very bitter. I was bitter with everybody and bitter with everything. So to be honest right now I don't even remember how 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 far I was because I remember the the moment cuz I felt like you know what why like I I had had it. I I I was tired. I was I was tired. I was frustrated. And then I remember I I am um, the guy like you know how these people that do the scan up they're so nice, hey. They're like um so he kept checking right then he's like uh like he was trying to be so nice and i'm like zero because i've had a stillbirth and you know that type of thing and then he kept going then he's like um i can't seem to find the heartbeat because you know like the heartbeat comes in like as early as six weeks right and then so he's like i can't seem to find then i was like can i please have a paper towel i wiped myself got up and dressed and then you know he's like oh, i'm about to like you wanted to write everything down and you know do the like the you proper thing i was like baby can we go let's go home now <laughs> you know i was i was i was the most bitter person in that moment i'm so glad i'm not bitter anymore or oh, i wasn't bitter for a long time because in that moment I, I didn't even want to hear anything <laughs> i just walked yes, out Baba Minana, he, was his he was the third one um he was he he was shocked well well now he had to manage his wife well in that way like in that moment like i was just like i'm done can we go he's like i want to give you the letter i'm like i i don't want i i know what the letter has says i i know what it says i'm very sorry to that guy but i'm sure he's just like oh, i didn't do this to you ma'am <laughs> you know but then i i didn't even want to hear anything and then you know like my husband was now waiting for the layers high and what and I was like, can i have the car keys i want to go home now then i got into the car i didn't want to tell anybody you, you had already I told people that you're pregnant again yeah exactly you know like you know you're excited and you're like you no know, people are praying for you and praying with you so you're like god has done it so i can imagine you were probably tense the whole nine months of me nana's uh, yeah pregnancy. I, I, did, I did like pregnancy after loss what um it, it's crazy and um some of these things we don't even know about them until we are in the situation i didn't even know that babies died until i lost my child and i didn't even know about this whole other side of life and it's everywhere we we're just not looking or we just don't know about it um for like pregnancy after loss it's pal there's uh, there's pages about it there's books about it there's so many people going through it and stuff like that. So it's only when I was now in the situation that I actually got to learn about all these things. Mm-hmm. So yeah, hey, it, it's tough, but yeah, God okay. is faithful. You said that with Minana's pregnancy, you changed um, your gynecologist and the hospital. Yes. Okay, what else did you do differently? Did you feel like you did anything differently that made a difference or it was just God or? No, it was literally God all throughout and a special mention to um, one of our pastors. Um, his name is Pastor Tinashe Zinyemba um, <laughs> and his wife, Pastor Prim. Um, yeah, they're from New Life Covenant Church. You know, so we would definitely, we, we had, I think throughout the nine months of having Minana, like, you know, we had told him our story, like, I think on the miscarriage that I was so bitter, we told him, right? Like, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. But I wasn't done with God, I was just done with everything. And then he's like, no, everything's going to be fine, you're going to get pregnant. So he was walking through the journey with us. So when we got pregnant again, we're like, oh, yeah, so this has happened. And you know, like, his faith is like... That man is a man of faith. <laughs> but then, like, you know, like, like when I tell you that, it was hysteric, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, any bad dream, 
any cough, I would go see the doctor and I would call past the Tinashe, like literally. So we had, we, he was literally on speed dial. Mm. So I think having somebody as well with greater faith really helped having a good doctor really helped and when my mom realized i was pregnant six months into the pregnancy and when other people started realizing i'm pregnant they were very nice very supportive and very prayerful as well it's not like we did anything different really it was just time for god to just perform his amazing miracle yeah. which he did so it's not like i would lie if i said i did anything different no i just went for nandos and yeah it was <laughs> i was just a pregnant girl hey um one thing i did was i stopped going to work at 30 weeks oh. yes that's probably the different thing i was just like i'm not coming back here mm. i'm Everyone's tired exactly me. yes and if anything got on my nerve yeah, nah, I wasn't tolerating it. I was like, they, I need to have this child. I can't be bothered by you. Yeah. Like, I, I, I need to have my child. So yeah. if anybody tried to get on my nerve or anything, they were, <laughs> I apologize to my family <laughs> and friends. I was very, not that I was in a bad mood or snappy. I just, I just, I just couldn't to tolerate. I, I just couldn't tolerate yeah. anything yeah. that, you if you came to me with your fear, mm -hmm. I think we didn't talk till after the miracle came, you know. Like, if you're like, oh my God, Sarah, why don't you try this? Oh, you should do that. Like, you know, like with our culture, it's not bad. Um, it, people that do it, it's okay for them. But then personally, I didn't want. Uh, people would be like, oh, drink this, do that, do that. I personally didn't want. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, uh, with a culture or anything. It's very good. If anybody else does it, do it. It's great. But then with me... I was like, it's a, it's God and absolutely nothing mm. else. And my husband understood. So whether it came from my family or his family, our stance was, wait a bit. And As in those seasons, you God. need that, that exactly. faith where Just, unshakable faith yes, where, yes. where no one to such an extent where people, people knew like, don't go to Gift and Brenda with mm -hmm. anything yeah. contrary to the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you are bringing something, let it have the, uh, I and didn't even, I didn't even want any water or anything. No, 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 no. exactly. So we had unshakable faith and help. We will be like, thank you. We weren't rude about it. We'll be like, oh, thank you so much for this remedy. Thank you so much for this. But then as of now, we want to try God out and God showed up and showed off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about posting. Because yeah. I think for you, it was a big thing where people were accusing you. Could say, yeah. Waka, wa one. Yeah. I actually thought you had posted. No, I haven't. Would you yeah. recommend posting? Would you post? I would love to post. My next pregnancy, I'm definitely yeah. posting. I, I think post. there's nothing wrong with posting, guys. Okay. Why do people post? Yeah. Everybody posts, like you had Tinashe last week. Tinashe posts, oh, guys. Yeah. And she has beautiful children. She has a beautiful family. Why, why, why shouldn't everybody post? Like, I just didn't post this time because I just didn't want to get, like, no, my, my, my people happy. You know, like, oh, like, we're pregnant and we're so excited. And we're like, oh, guys. So, yeah, yeah, you know, I just didn't want that. So I just wanted to leave out the nine months in my own bubble, have my baby in my own bubble. And when I was then ready to share the miracle, why I even shared it was because when I was in pain or when I was struggling, so many ladies came and they were like, oh, we are going through the exact same thing. Even in that moment, even after, even after losing nadine like so many other people came like recently married oh my god i've lost my child they don't even post some of you don't even know so be kind to ever to to anybody out there don't even just be like like you know like when you're newly weird people are like so many of these people don't ask you don't know what's happening yes you know exactly so when i then came back to share about minana it wasn't even about people or anything it was to glorify god and to encourage my sisters who have walked the same journey or who are yet to walk the same journey or like it was just really about giving glory to god and encouraging somebody so if 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 i definitely uh i use my instagram in a way that 
that pleases me and I feel that pleases God. So if anybody isn't happy about it, like I love you. Yes, thank you for agreeing. Uh -huh. Thank you even for posting about Nadine. Yeah. Because, like I said, people go through things like that in isolation. Thank yes. you for then posting me, Nana. Because when I then saw you post me, Nana, I was like, uh -huh. I was, I was so happy yeah. for you guys. I was like, oh my god. And I think there was like, I, in my head, it was like a space of a year between the yeah. two. So I was like, look at God, <laughs> you know. And yeah, just thank okay. you for your yes to to doing this testimony because. Honestly, you don't know how many people, you don't know how many people. Like, I recently got married, and a lot of my friends recently got married, and yeah. I have friends that come to me, and they, you know, and they'll tell me they're pregnant, and then I'll check up, and they say, oh, no, I lost that pregnancy. It's so, you don't even realize how common it is, it, how common true. people are losing yeah. pregnancies. So and true. Yeah. It like, so thank you so much for, for speaking about this, because you don't know how many, how many of my friends are going to be grateful for this. May God heal your friends and may he give them a testimony. That's one thing I'm sure God will do. It might take longer than you expect. Trust me. For me, it's, it feels like, um, it felt like years, guys. It felt like decades, guys. But then it was, a, like, when you look back, it's like, oh, it's a short space of time considering other people's stories and all. But, yeah, God will definitely intervene. No, after going through... Um, PAL and yeah, everything yeah. was it did you take on all the things that came with postpartum happily or did you also struggle with your blessing things like did you ever go through postpartum blues struggle between breastfeeding a formula breast milk supply night shift you know did you ever struggle with that or it was just like I oh I can struggle I'm I happy I can struggle I'm I happy I did, I did struggle guys, because I love sleeping, like I mentioned <laughs> earlier. So I'm like, little girl, like, no, 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 we can't be doing this, you know. But then I had so much help from my husband and from my family. Okay. So yeah, but then like there's times when it's just like, this child will stop screaming when the mom is holding them. Like, yeah. and you're tired, like you yeah. can't have it anymore, yeah. like, you know. So it, it was, it was so, it was a lot. I won't even lie. There's times when I just look at her and I'm like, but me, Nana, like. <laughs> Like, yeah. but then, like, you know, and then at some point, I'd soldier on. I'm like, I prayed for this, yes, you know. Yes. And then I remember there's a day when I actually cried, hey, because it was a lot, yes, it's a lot. It, it really was a lot. So she was crying, and then I was crying. Then the dad is like, What's happening? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so, like, being a mom is extra. Like, yeah. even if you prayed for that child, yes. sometimes, sometimes you just be like, oh, I'm done, I'm, I'm done, done. Yeah. I'm done. And you know, like my parents were like, they were so excited that they now have a grandchild and everything. Mm. So my mom was like so extra, like, <laughs> so, like, like I was extra, busy. right? Yeah. But then my mom was even extra. Yeah, exactly. So then it felt like I, it was, it felt like it was double work for yeah. me. So then one of the days I was like, Sarah, I name's Guru and you like, and I went out for an hour, like not even out. I just left the, I just left the room they were in. I left the house. I left my phone. I left everything. <laughs> then I just sat outside in the garden. Uh, I love that. Alone for an hour, you I know, because it can be that extreme. So that. it was real. It's not like it's not like oh you get the blessing. So yeah. now you're like oh I'm just gonna soldier. Like it's not, there's no super momming yeah. it. Like I would love to. I, I really wanted to. Like I have been, but <laughs> <laughs> even now a one year old like toddlers guys. How are you guys doing <laughs> it? But then like you know it's like. I mean, no, stop that. Uh, like, you have to scream. And then you're like, but then, okay. And then, so then the dad will be like, ah, you know, we prayed for times like this when we would lie. We would, like, there's a day when she didn't want to sleep. She's sleep trained. Okay. But then on this particular day, she, she just, just didn't want to sleep. Yeah. She just wanted to continuously kiss me and the dad. So she'd be like, ooh, ma, ooh. And it's like 11. And like, no, Mina, like, we're now tired. Like, we're so tired. And then, so like, the dad is like, do you remember times when we'd pray for something like this? So it's like, one of those, like, ah, 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 ah. Uh, stop it and then you're like mm, but then thank you god thank you know you like they're like like i was telling you pastor tinash at some point she's like oh so how is it and then i told her i was like oh my god this that this that this that and then it's like those are nice those life are problems nice exactly life. so i have nice life problems with yeah. my daughter yeah i like yeah. that because i think after you've prayed for this baby yeah. and you know like even with us we went through a couple of hiccups with our yeah. pregnancy uh -huh. And I remember, like, we were having sleepless nights, and we're just like, this is the thing we've been praying yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. But it's also okay to struggle with your blessing. Yes, it is. You know, because yes, you don't yes, think yes. you're going to be exempted from night shift. And, yeah, yeah it's, it's also going to happen, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. 
Um, my final question, yes. or my final round of questions, baby Minana, is she mommy's little girl or daddy's little girl? She's definitely daddy's little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works, but okay. then anyway, I love their relationship. I'm not even jealous. And also sometimes I then get to breathe, yeah? So, yeah. But then it's like so extreme, like when she wakes up, um, she sleeps in her own room, hey? So she'll be like, da, 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 da. Like, you wake up and you're thinking of your dad. Uh -huh. Like, in a day, she could call her dad, like, literally the whole day and say, mama, like, uh -huh. once or twice. And I'm like, girl, how's this working? Yeah, you know, exactly. I love mm -hmm. that. I love that. Okay, breastfeeding um, or formula? Breastfeeding. The whole way through. Yeah. Really? Yes. So you're one of those lucky ones who had good milk supply? Yes, I did. I was actually very happy about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I guess you yeah. With yeah. I, so. I, I, I know, like, I'll tell God, I'm like, mm, 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 yeah. mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Any last words to anyone who has walked your journey? Um, I want to say you are stronger than what you think. And um, my, I'm, I'm a very... I'm, I'm ready to listen to whatever you have to say. Um, I have an open door policy with my Instagram and everything. You can talk, we can talk, we can cry together and we will definitely celebrate together when the time is right. And you are stronger than you think, really. You can do it and God will do it for you. And just find a community of people who love you and who can be there for you the way you want them to be there for you and i want to say thank you for this i i enjoyed this is also like part of healing as well for me because like the more you talk about it the more it gets better and i really really enjoyed this so thank you so much thank you for coming yeah. thank, you. thank you for thank sharing you for your story me. this is so beautiful and i can't wait to see the impact that it's going to have on a lot of women pray that it actually has the impact that god intends for it to have hey like um like you were saying i like that you're a prayerful woman and i like that um you were saying when you were preparing for this god told you what to do so that means God, like his word will not return to him void. It will definitely perform that which he has sent it to do. So whoever needs healing, whoever will need to replay this over and over, whoever will need to refer to some part that we said here, they will definitely be, they will definitely be able to see how they can walk their journey of healing as well. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I know this one was a bit of a long episode, but I mean, honestly, we had to talk about everything. Um, so if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching until the very end. If you have any questions regarding to pregnancy or anything really, please do send me questions um, in the comments or you can send me a DM and I will ask the next guests um, the questions that you have. But until then, thank you so much for watching until the very end. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.